So hello everyone and for today I have a new franchise and that is Crisis. But can it run the Crisis? We will find out soon. Spoiler alert? Kinda. But I'll show you. But before that let's get to the settings. So from main graphics menu you can see that I'm using 4K and for X and aliasing I'm also at full screen mode and VSync is disabled. Now going to the advanced settings, you can see that everything is very high. The sound quality is custom because I tried to enable EAX but I don't think that I managed to do it. And motion blur is disabled but every time I restart this game it says custom so not sure why that happens but yeah it's it's disabled. According to in-game setting but in configuration files and from visual quality I can say it's still enabled. So the first segment of this video is going to be one of the first encounters you have in the game which is the more demanding one I could find, at least for the beginning. Later I will show you the different segments, which are significantly more demanding than this one. And in the meantime I just wanted to talk a little bit about this game. Now first of all I had loads of issues just launching this game. And yeah, the first issue that I had is that the game just couldn't launch. Apparently the game was using depreciated instruction set, which is called 3D Now and all modern AMD CPUs no longer has that instruction set. So the game crashes because of that. So I had to fix that one. Well later, when I tried to enable 4K, apparently my refresh rate becomes at 30. And that is obviously not playable, so I had to fix that one as well. Kinda annoying. And this is not only it, I had to do a bunch of other small fixes to make it more playable, so yeah, the configuration is really annoying and just tiring for modern systems. So now that I got it out of the way, let's talk about the game itself. Obviously, it looks amazing, like seriously. I just couldn't believe that this is from 2007 and it just looks really really up to date I would say. Obviously there are a few, maybe not few, but a lot of things that definitely aged but in general it looks very very good. I could easily say it like this is from 2012 or 14 or something like that. And some other aspects still looks very very good to this day. Also, please excuse me my crappy gameplay. It's been a couple of months since the last time I played this game, so yeah, it's my skills are a little bit rusty. So, for the second section of this video, I'm showing you the mission called Recovery. And this is one of the biggest bases in the game, and it is one of the most demanding areas as well. But notice that when I am showing demanding area in this game, it is mostly limited by the CPU, not GPU. Of course, it is very demanding from GPU, but considering that this game relies very heavily on single CPU thread, and it only utilizes about two CPU threads, so it relies on single render thread, and it offloads some workloads to the second one. So yeah, the performance because of that jumps up and down like very very drastically. Of course if you didn't know, I'm using a 32-bit version, not 64, because of certain fixes required. So yeah, and also I seen a couple of posts that in 32-bit versions the game performs a little bit better. but. I'm not entirely sure about that one. And yeah, as you can see I'm using DirectX 10, not 9, because it runs better at 10. 
Also, I think DirectX 9 version doesn't have the highest settings. So yeah, that's automatically not an option for me and for this video. And so the final boss of this test and that is mission called Ascension. And in this one you are flying with the VTOL I think, if that was the name of that aircraft. And soon you'll see the performance of this section. Also I guess spoiler alert, but I really think if you are watching this video I think you have played it at least once. So yeah, solid 45 FPS area, like, ish, and that's not all, that's not all. Of course the game looks amazing, but man that frame rate, it just... Troops for evac to the USS Constitution, you got a visual on those friendlies up ahead? Roger. Good, now stick with them, they'll guide you through the valley. Stay with us Nomad, we got a squad of marines under attack at the camp ahead. F-36 escorts are airborne and inbound. ETA, five minutes. Roger. As you can see, in some areas, I'm actually GPU limited, which is kind of interesting. Also, I'm not sure if in this mission it always rains, but sorry for bad visibility. Maybe it's a good test because it might be more demanding. I don't know. Okay, we're down. No man, cover us so we can get the wounded on board. And 
yeah just look at that 35 fps but 5950x that's just crazy as you can see the performance really relies on where you are looking at so in some areas it's 90 fps gpu limited and in some 30 40 fps cpu limited so yeah the optimization is just i can't say anymore like look at this but i got to say the draw distance is really nice the trees in the distance like looks very very good so yeah let's avoid those typhoons of course you can see a little bit the age of this game like look at the left on the mountain the mountain looks like i don't know it really lacks detail it's just plain like really plain also keep in mind when the game saves my 0% one low statistics kind of goes to crap because the stutter is from the game saving and in general the gameplay is very smooth except when it's below 60 fps of course but but there are almost no stutters except when the game saves also you can see that from that smoke the fps also goes down like maybe there are some transparency issues with performance i'm not sure but yeah also those explosions looks really nice there is also a mission i don't remember the name of it it has the tanks in it it is also very demanding but i find that this scenario is the most demanding in this game i think digital foundry shows that section but i decided to choose this one also please correct me if i'm wrong but i think in remastered version this mission doesn't exist i think i think that's true because it was based on console version and the console just couldn't handle that stage whether this one or that the one with the tanks i can't remember but i totally could understand why they excluded it for consoles because console cpus are very bad like i'm not talking about ps5 or xbox series x but i think ps3 and xbox 360 and even ps4 and xbox which what was the name of the newer one just ah those names yeah so the older generation consoles had terrible cpus and only in this generation they are much much better and much up to date compared to what pc market has so if 5950x gets mid 30s in this stage what fps older cpus gets i really don't know about it but i guess in mid teens if you had any experience with it on max settings please report it in the comments i would really like to know And when you look back, you see FPS goes down, down. So yeah, solid 30 FPS, not completely cinematic according to Ubisoft, but it's getting there. 
And that's about it, what I wanted to show about this game and performance and just my thoughts. So thank you for watching as always and see you next time in the next video. So bye bye. Elena, where are you? Copy Psycho. I'm inbound. ETA 10 minutes. Make it quick mate. I've got you a little souvenir.